What's up guys? Uh, I'm pretty excited for this tutorial because you know you guys are asking me much about Laravel so I, I thought let me just do the intro and then I'll try to progress step by step uh, but I'll tell you it'll be a little slow however. So let's get started on installing Laravel 5.4. Uh, the first step is you you better know which is let's get to laravel.com and get to documentation and then read all of this I understand if you are an absolute beginner you don't know what's going on and everything right so I would highly highly recommend you just read it for some time but then if you don't understand it that's fine all you have to do is you have to uh, go and first install WAMP okay WAMP server which I've already installed so I'm not going to show you what exactly you should do uh, what's that yeah so let's say I, I click on download and then my system being a 64 bit I would download this and I would say just download directly and then it will start the download alright once you have it downloaded uh, you know it's it's a straightforward deal if you don't know what it is uh, let you know just check out my other video which I'll be linking down on how to download Laravel uh, I mean WAMP the latest version of WAMP and then let's get set with uh, installing Laravel now to install Laravel there is something that you should have what is known as a composer composer and just say get composer and then I, I'll click on download and by the way if I just try composer here now at this point since I have not installed it on this PC it says oh I don't know what you're talking about now let's go and download composer download composer setup dot exe let's put it on my desktop and so yep it's downloaded the next thing is click on this and then say yes next it's automatically looking to find PHP 5.6 very important you should have the latest version of PHP I mean anything larger than 5.4 is appreciated and accepted so it's 5.6 so that should not be a problem let's go and click next do you want a proxy URL I don't want that and just say install let's wait and watch the composer is going to get installed just yep it's installed now what we do is simple if I say composer now again it says oh I don't know what you're talking about but let us see um, I've installed composer command line installation I don't want all of that I download it manually what's wrong composer what is Ah, maybe maybe I didn't set uh, the, the 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 variables properly so let's go and set it quick but however let's just try this I don't know why it did not work out this time oh. let me try rerunning this composer setup You know it's been a long time since I touched Laravel and I've just moved out of the framework I'm really sorry guys uh, it's it's doing the right thing what's wrong with that I mean PHP 5.6 and everything until proxy URL yeah install I'm just wondering and curious why this thing is not working. Wow. Really? Oh. We'll set up your path environment so you can simply call composer from any directory. That's what I mean, it should have done it for me, right? What's wrong here? Let's see. Um I'm just looking for the environment variable. Uh, environment variables. Ah, 
let's see composer not found PC Ooh. Yep, this is the issue that I have. It's not recognized as an internal or external command. Hmm. The solution is dot user complete composer path instead of composer install. Let's see. First of all, in my program data, it's it's there. Uh, program data. Composer setup. Yup, it's there, right? What's your problem? Guys, you know what I did? I just went into the directory for composer, which is C drive program data composer bin. And uh, yup, it's there. Now let me try composer again. It's there. Absolutely. It's, I mean, I just don't get why it's not able to. Uh, get down to C WAMP 64 www and then let's go back here and try composer again now let's see composer yep oh so probably you must have initialized it once getting into the directory I don't know it's weird that it did this to me but anyway, I'm not going to edit any part of this video so you can get to have a clear picture. Sometimes if you are encountering this type of an issue, it's a good idea for you to have a look at it. So you, you will be in a better position to uh, judge what's going on. Now that we have it, all we have to do is uh, composer create project copy. Okay. And paste and wait for the magic to happen. So this is the command, composer create project, preferred destination, Laravel, Laravel blog. Aha, awesome. So we are installing Laravel 5.4.16, which is pretty cool for you guys if you have trouble installing Laravel. Probably at this point, I am going to, you know, fasten the video just to make sure that you don't get bored when this thing is going to happen. All right, so now that it's properly done, it took about like 30, I'm not sure, maybe a minute, I don't know, but uh, so that's it. Now, if we just go into CD and blog, and remember, why am I going into blog? It's because, you know, if we just scroll up, we gave blog this command, Laravel slash Laravel blog command. So it's going to create everything inside this blog directory. So here is our directory for Laravel. And all I do is if I if I just get into CD blog, now here we have, now just say PHP artisan serve. Ta-da, it's active at 127.00800. Let's just copy this and paste it and see if we have any luck. Ta-da! So here we have Laravel documentation, cast, news, forge, GitHub. Don't you think it's pretty cool, guys, to uh, just get it up and running without much of... Uh... Oh, that's cool. Wow, this thing... Man, I miss Laravel. Haha. <laughs> I'm really sorry, guys. I'm not able to do whatever you're asking so far because, uh, you know, I've been stuck with other... Uh... Uh, applications like Java and everything and I'm kind of trying to get on there and then I'm having interest to incline towards node.js kind of like you know I'm trying to sail all the boats at the same time which I know is not a good idea but but you know my my project and my assignments require me to work on Java and yeah I mean that's it
so let's just hope that i can try to help you guys out while i as the, while i at the same time start learning and all of that um that's it have a great day let's meet together subscribe